Well, hello world. This is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, this is the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic special edition of the blogs. And I'd like to remind you again that I not only talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum, but I also like to talk about things that specifically revolve around the geek world. But, as promised, I would um, give you my full reviews of... Uh, the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 4 Special Edition. And, um, so here goes on my reviews. Um, one of the first things that I noticed and liked about this episode compared to uh, other season finales in the past of My Little, of the show, is that not only did the, the writers and the directors and the animators, uh, really, really, really put their emphasis into this episode and uh, seem to work much harder on this, these episodes alone uh, than the other, uh, the other finales uh, combined. But instead of watching a TV show, I almost thought I was watching a fully length animated film. Uh, for one thing, we had um, an epic, epic villain who uh, was was stealing the stealing all kinds of magical powers and special talents from unicorns, Pegasi, and Earth Pony alike. But we had um, Princess Celestia having dreams and visions about Tarek, Tarek taking over and completely dictating Equestria, um, and that was something that we never see in during the the rest of. Uh, the My Little Pony seasons. Um, I you know, was also impressed with um, with the plot that we had with Discord, um, where he wants. I mean, he's learning to be a friend, but um, he's so caring and so loving and so kind that he does not realize too that. Uh, not everybody that says they're, they're your friend uh, means it. Um, it could mean that they are out for themselves. And that is uh, one thing that Discord has to learn. Um, and then I was also um, really, really highly impressed with uh, the chemistry between him and Fluttershy. And again, instead of watching a, t a TV show, I thought I was watching a movie when those two were floating inside of those bubbles and Fluttershy uh, tried to tell Twilight Sparkle not to give, not to give up her magic you know, for her friends. But uh, and the Discord just connected into her and said that, uh, oh no, Fluttershy, you're definitely worth it. Um, that, 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 that's just something that, you know, that I have um, heard uh, two couple, you know, uh, not couples, friends, anybody with the good chemistry towards one another will say. I mean, I don't know if there's a chemistry between John Delancey and um, Andrea Libman or if, or if uh, they, you uh, worked really, really hard to um, make the characters look like there was chemistry based on a dra uh, drawing in the body language. Um, another really great thing about the show was that, you know, uh, and what I admire about this pony, of course she doesn't have her wings yet, but that's irrelevant, is the fact that she um, managed to realize that, yes, it's great to have, uh, have special talents, it's great to have magic, it's great to have big brains, but when it really boils down to it and you have somebody that you love so much, they're going to come first. And I thought that uh, the directors and the writers um, did a really nice job of capturing that. Um, I was also impressed with the way that uh, Twilight Sparkle finally uh, realized that uh, Discord uh, was a good friend, you know, all along, and she spent lots of energy throughout season three and season four 
um, not trusting him and just putting up these walls because uh, he had managed to hurt her in the past. Um, and for her, I mean, and for her to just turn around and forgive him, I just, that was so beautiful. And it was beautiful uh, for him to finally give her the key that she would need to unlock the, unlock the chest and, uh, and for that chest to magically, um, magically give the ponies brand new powers and turn them into rainbow, turn them into something that would, uh, defeat, uh, defeat this evil villain in the end. Uh, regardless of the fact that they couldn't fly or they couldn't uh, use their magic or wouldn't be strong enough to uh, plow fields and uh, do other things ac across uh, uh, buck apples across Equestria and, um, and it, was just, it was so powerful to see them fly across just flying across Equestria and give every pony back their uh, their special talents and their powers and their cutie marks. Um, and then I was also amazed with uh, the first song that uh, the, that the three princesses sung to Twilight Sparkle about uh, about not about not worrying about wanting quote quote unquote everything now and that. Uh, her uh, her calling would come in time, and uh, I think so many of us tend to uh, end up in a new position, and we're not happy because um, we feel there's because we've got we have a new important role. We feel like something in our lives are missing, but what it is is we're you know well, we've got a resting period and we're waiting. We're. Uh, we're wait, we're waiting, and and enjoying the journey along the way until you bump into something that that is your calling. And in the end, Twilight Sparkle became the princess of friendship. Um, again, I just, I mean, that song was be that song was beautiful, and it really moved me to tears. And I just, I wanted to cry with Twilight Sparkle. Um, the other things I wasn't impressed with. I didn't care for the Rainbow Song. I don't know why. It's just I thought thought it was cheesy. And then I I mean, but I didn't care for the Rainbow Song, but I did enjoy the um, the the, pho the photography for it, where the rainbow was flying over all of like, all of the characters that we saw throughout the show that gave our characters their um, their keys. And then I was not impressed when all with the designs of the rainbow ponies. I just thought that the colors were too bright, and I just, I for one thing, I didn't care for the way that Fluttershy's mane looked. I thought it it just made it look too poofy and too full, though. So. And then, like the rest of the fans, I don't think I was too impressed with it that Discord was giving Princess Celestia flowers and winking at her because uh, I'm a Fluttercord fan by heart and I've been a Fluttercord fan since the day that she reformed him and I think those two uh, the, uh, Fluttershy and Discord are not meant to be together they just they just they look so pretty together so anyway I hope you in I hope you enjoyed season four as much as I did what did you like and what didn't you like so until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.